Hey guys, I do my soap here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk about iOS 13.5. This is my weekly follow-up where I share with you guys additional information in regards to battery, performance, any additional new features or any bugs that I may come across that they're using the software for several days. Now you guys have been reporting some great feedback. There's some great information to share with you guys. iOS 13.5 finally feels like the software for iOS 13 that we've all been waiting for. There's some great news for iPhone 7 users as well, but let's go Go over some of the minor things that Apple still needs to address and most likely will be patching in the upcoming update 13.5.1. So HomePod OS first up 13.4.5 for HomePod is now available in case you didn't know your HomePod you can update it now and a lot of you guys have been reporting this issue here this app is no longer shared with you. Now this is a prompt that usually happens when you're sharing an application with a group of family members and the application is no longer being shared by the primary account holder. Now this is not an issue with iOS 13.5 or with your iPhone. This is an issue with the App Store. So this is a server side issue. In most cases, deleting the application and reinstalling it will fix the issue for you. And Apple can also provide a server side update and fix, which they'll most likely be doing in the next couple of days. Now, Apple is also looking to release 13.5 Point one to patch the latest uncovered jailbreak in case you did not know iOS 13.5 received a jailbreak for every single device on iOS 13.5 so 13.5.1 will most likely be released in the next couple of days or weeks in order to patch the latest exploit that provides this jailbreak for every single device now if you want to jailbreak your device you have time right now links will be in the description for that jailbreak tutorial other than that it looks like iOS 13.5 as I mentioned is one of these softwares that we've all been waiting for. Now, if you may remember that I talked about the Face ID issue on my primary iPhone 11 Pro Max, I only know about one other person that came across this issue where Face ID was bricked after updating to 13.5. So this is a isolated incident. I wouldn't be concerned any longer. It was just me and maybe some other person, maybe two, three more people. So it's a minor issue. I don't think this is gonna be a widespread situation, but other than that, software-wise, battery has been excellent. I can go ahead and vouch for that. Apple has definitely addressed the issue with battery. Bluetooth issues were fixed since beta 4, so I'm happy to see that as well. Hotspot issues are spotty, okay? So they're not perfect, but it is better. So overall, the issues have been addressed in some devices in most cases. Now, let's head on over here quickly to YouTube because on my YouTube community poll, you guys also do have a lot of input and feedback. By the way, you can head on over to the YouTube community poll and here you can read additional information how everyone is sharing their experience so far and as you can see here everyone most most of these comments are all good in terms of battery and performance here iphone 7 plus battery issues resolved amazing performance amazing battery most people most consumers are expressing good results with ios 13.5 again including iphone 7 and 7 plus something that was highly uh, anticipated right apple has been having issues since ios 13 initial launch with these devices would heat up the battery was just not good it looks like 13.5 has finally addressed that for most consumers for most iPhone 7 users. And I have to say, the performance of the software, there's really no hiccups, no pauses. Everything is working as intended. It feels smooth. Highly recommend updating 13.5 if you haven't already, as well as iPadOS 13.5. Everything across the board is pretty much good news. Anticipate 13.5.1, as I mentioned, to patch the jailbreak on the latest 13.5. But other than that, just minor, minor issues with the software. Hopefully, this continues with iOS 14 and beyond. Thank you for watching today's video, guys, and I'll see you real soon. Peace.